Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Hey guys, preempt of like 10, top 10 modern British brands. I can't talk. British brands. British bands to crack the US. Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. My name's Connor. If you're new, I am from New England. Let's, uh, let's go. All right. Dates of face. Fail of an intro, but it doesn't matter because we're here together and we're watching a video. Looks like the states are facing another British invasion. Well, I bet that you look good on the dance floor. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 modern British bands to crack the US. Just a dis. <laughs> Gorillas are British. <laughs> Before we begin, if you enjoy this video, just a really just a disclaimer i'm not very great with music stuff i love like who doesn't like music okay i do like music but i don't like if you told me like oh what are you what kind of music are you a fan of or what art like i i, I like i bunch up like i act like this i can't talk i i don't know like i like music that i like i guess and so like i if Video, please subscribe what am I saying? for more great content. So if I don't list, know we'll stuff in the video, that's crop why. Of British groups who have seen crossover success amongst American audiences. Every sky will build my we'll be focusing on recent bands only. Come on, internet. Specifically the 1990s and onwards, making this list one with eyes set firmly on the here and now. Don't do Coldplay. It makes me sad. <laughs> Number 10, Alt J. My chance of me. See, I've never, I've never heard. Maybe there's something in the them. Leeds water that makes the quirky art pop of Alt J resonate so much with an international audience. Or maybe it's just this young British band's determination to release honest, unique music to their fan base. Whatever the reason, there's no denying that the three full-length albums and number of TV and film soundtrack appearances have done Alt J wonders in breaking through an American crowd. And it doesn't Ooh, seem like as that. if the trio are going to be resting on their creative laurels anytime soon. Number nine, the 1975. See, I'm I'm not gonna know like any of these, am I? Don't go expecting any classic rock bombast or psychedelic grooves with this Manchester-based act. Instead, the 1975 create a grooving and highly danceable combination of pop, dance, and rock sounds, which has managed to earn them huge accolades both at home and abroad. There's a strong sense of songwriting knowledge when it comes to the music of the 1975, which often hits home with huge stadium-ready hooks and a super clean production style. Both modern and somewhat retro in tone, the 1975 won a Brit Award in 2017 for Best British Group, so it looks like their story of success has just begun. That's pretty good. Sometimes I feel like saying, Lord, I just don't care. But you got the love I need. Number eight, Florence and the Machine. See, that sounds familiar. Is that like the God days are over? The, the dog days are. Okay. Is that them? And another thing, I just, I don't really listen to lyrics. I just, like, I like, I like, like, There's an indescribable amount of beauty permeating the music of Florence and the Machine. Perhaps this is why the London-based group has managed to connect so strongly with fans both in the UK and US. Front woman Florence Welch's magnetic presence is evident both on the stage and in the studio. I love her Musically, voice. Musically, the Machine combines sound and imagery like few others, from classical to modern indie pop and rock styles. Indeed, there's no categorizing Florence and the Machine, and that's probably exactly how they like it. I 
I like that. Number seven, Mumford and Sons. Fantastic. And this song is amazing. Number seven, Mumford and Sons. Folky rootsy Americana music performed by a group of born and bred Londoners? It's more likely than you think. There's a beautiful element to the music of Mumford and Sons, as well as a certain nostalgia which seems to connect with music fans from mm. all walks of life. The spirits of songwriters past seem to live and breathe within the old school arrangements and melodies within the band's songwriting. I can't believe they're British. They're I, like, I was certain they were American. Or is any band American? While they've changed up their look and sound recently, it's their original combination of past and present which likely led to Mumford & Sons being one of Britain's most popular rock exports. They got a thumbs up from me, for sure. Mumford & Sons. Oh, so cool. Of course, it wasn't all smooth sailing for this group since they're forming back in the mid-90s, but albums such as 2003's Absolution and particularly Black Holes and Revelations from 2006 succeeded in giving Muse some big-time hits across the pond. Of course, it helps that guitarist and vocalist Matt Bellamy also happens to be one of the most passionate and dynamic frontmen around, pushing Muse ever forward as a leader in Britain's dynamic rock scene. Really? The gorillas were British too. <laughs> Number five, of course, gorillas. I know who the gorillas are. If the world of holograms and virtual reality is the next big thing for the music industry, then we can all thank this one of a kind group for being an early pioneer in the medium. Gorillas broke the mold of traditional artists when they were created as a virtual band back in 1998 by Blur frontman Damon Albarn and artist Jamie Hewlett. The band members are entirely fictional with a fascinating backstory and imaginary universe to their credit. Meanwhile, the trippy, infectious music of Gorillas is created in the studio by Albarn and has featured many high profile contributors in the past, including famed. MC Dell, the funky homo sapien. The essence, the basics, without oh. it you make it, allow me to make this child like your nature. I like it. Oh, God. Oasis, Wonderwall. Um, very, like, I can tell it's the gorillas kind of right away. Maybe because the, the lead singer or the lead whatever has a very unique kind of voice. But uh just without oh. did you make it allow me to make this child like your nature Number four Oasis Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. The crux of Oasis is the Gallagher brothers, Noel and Liam, particularly their highly combustible working relationship. Oasis thrived despite interpersonal struggles, however, thanks to a series of ridiculously popular singles. Wonderwall, Don't Look Back in Anger, and Champagne Supernova were all radio mega hits, hinging upon Noel's jangling layered guitar work. Guys, part of my like my happiness with hearing this stuff, a part of it, it's great songs, but they just kind of bring me back. Like they were well known songs in like what, like the 2000s era, and they just kind of bring me back. And Liam's nasal yet undeniably captivating vocals. Oasis may have worn their influences on their sleeve, but that didn't stop them from becoming an international success story in the process. So this is how you mind, everyone. That's the most British. <laughs> That's the most British, like, rock star voice right there. All right, everyone. It's like... So this is all you mind, everyone. Everyone, like I, like, <laughs> like, sorry. Like I feel like I just heard every British kind of just music band front guy just talk right there. 
Like, ah, Number like, three, Arctic Monkeys. Sounds familiar. Sheffield makes an appearance on our list thanks to the cross-country appeal of one of the area's most popular groups, Arctic Monkeys. Sheffield, where's Sheffield? The band's sound is a callback to stripped-down garage rock, while at the same time possessing a smooth production style and a hefty dose of indie cool. Somehow, Arctic Monkeys seem to effortlessly switch between pop and rock underground hooks. Perhaps it's this delicate balancing act which keeps fans in the UK and US coming back again and again for a shot of the band's intriguing sound. Number two, Coldplay. Oh god, I can't with Coldplay, guys. I can't. They're they're amazing, right? But they just make me like it. It makes me sad every time I listen to any Coldplay song. I am way my emotions are way too influenced by music. That might be partially why I don't listen that much. I I love music. Who doesn't? But I feel like I like it's not a big part of my life. I'd say. And Coldplay just it. It makes me emotional. I, I, I don't... Got the stars, look how they shine you. Referring to Coldplay as England's answer to U2 simply isn't giving this London-born band their proper due when it comes to their level of success. Questions of science. See, I, what is it? Why are they all making me sad? Science and progress. Sure. We may hear the music of Coldplay nearly everywhere we go, on television or on the radio adverts, but taking a step back, it's easy Classic. to see how Chris Martin and co. have connected with so many people. There's an this might be uh, an exception, this song right here. What's it called? People. Fox. This might be an exception. This one doesn't really make me sad. It's just a good song. There's an honesty to the band's songwriting and a passionate believability in Martin's vocals, which has made Coldplay one of the most successful British bands in years. And that is no accident. God damn it, there are so many good songs, guys. Nothing against Coldplay. If you love Coldplay, I think they're fantastic. It's just, I, don't, I can't. I can't do it to myself, all right? Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few Who's honorable mentions. Every sky will build my I probably would have thought Coldplay was going to be number one, so I'm curious if it's another band that I thought was American. Okay. Okay. Oh, I thought Blur was going to be it. Number one, Radiohead. We mentioned earlier how the spirit of progressive rock lived on within the- Obviously, I've, I've heard of Radiohead. I couldn't tell you a single song. Music of Muse, and so too does that forward-thinking heart beat within the musical body of Oxfordshire's Radiohead. No the band have been massively influential over the years, and have rarely delivered the same album twice, instead choosing to continually challenge their audience at every turn. Not only has Radiohead consistently delighted critics, but fans have also flocked to the band's mixture of rock and ambient electronica, making the band simultaneously one of Britain's most unpredictable and beloved music mavericks. Do you agree with our picks? Guys, I'm sorry, but like, they, they don't really do it for me. They're, they're not awful. They're, not, they're number one on the list. I'm sure they have, you know, crazy amounts of fans. Don't hate me, all right? But... To me, they don't really do much to my ears, to my brain. Um, yeah, and maybe they have a few really good songs that I, I couldn't tell you were Radiohead, but that I really liked. I don't know, but yeah, they just do, I guess they don't really do it for me. One of Britain's most unpredictable and beloved music mavericks. Really interesting video, guys. Love you all. Would appreciate any of your uh, uh, comments down below. Um, yeah, I again, who doesn't love music? But I, I definitely love certain songs by a bunch of different genres and artists. But I, I know that some people like stuff I don't. I would love to hear your opinions, and I would love for you to like and subscribe. So hopefully, I can see you next video. Bye, guys.